Well, good morning. It's Thursday, July the 16th, and um, we are blessed to have you join us this morning. We trust that you're having a blessed week, mm -hmm. and um, we've got a, a scripture for you. The title of it today is uh, continuing this. Last week, Yesterday we said, get yourself together. Today we're going to talk about growing up in Christ. Mm -hmm. And 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 2 says, In the same way that nursing infants cry for milk, you must intensely crave the pure spiritual milk of God's Word. For this milk will cause you to grow into maturity, fully nourished and strong for life. Yeah. We love babies, don't we? Yes, but have you ever been in a room full of babies? <laughs> yeah, I've been. The, there, there could be the little ones, the infants crying over here, and then you have the toddlers over in the corner fighting over toys or, ah, oh, it's mine, mine, you know, going back and forth. Or if you've ever had kids, that were children that were close together in age, yes. you would see this. And, you know, but babies are wonderful, but we don't want them to stay babies all the right. time. Right, nobody loves a 30-year-old baby. That's they? it, no, that's it, that's true. And uh, and we want we want people to grow. You know, the, I always tell people, they ask me, you know, Pastor, what are you called to? I'm called to be a pastor. Well, what does a pastor do? He teaches you the Word of God, line upon line, precept upon precept. So why? So that you will grow up mm -hmm. uh, and to be the vessels that God wants to use. We have a sign going out of our sanctuary, and it says, Now ministry begins, yeah. you know. And I like that because we're all called into the ministry. But many times we will say to people, you know, would you pray for them? Well, I don't know how to pray. And, you know, uh, well, we only learn how to pray is when somebody says, would you pray? And we go, uh, okay, I'll pray, you know, and we, we strive to learn how to pray, you know. But it's, uh, it's just important that we not always be the one needing to be encouraged. We need right. to be an encourager. Right. Yeah, you know, Not always needing the one to lift, uh, be lifted up, but to be lifting up people, That's you know, right. around you us. You need to grow. Yeah. You want to grow to the place that God can use you. And if you stay a baby all your life, yeah. then... God loves you. It's not going to change. Yeah. But he has so much more for you, for us to do than to stay as a baby. Yeah. Can, and, can, can, let me just read sure. this one of the scripture. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 2. And this is the, the New verse Living. 5, 12. Uh, um, uh, verse 12. 5 verse 12 in, in Hebrews. You have been believers so long now that you ought to be teaching others. Instead you have someone. You need someone to teach you again the basic things about God's words. You are like babies that need milk and cannot eat solid wow. food. And you know, um, I, I like to tell people, it's not the color of your hair that tells you the maturity of your Christian walk. That's right. Because we we can have people who are older in the church and have been Christians for years and never have never have never really prayed with anybody. Has never really, you know. Um, exercise the, the the word that they've been receiving Amen. they've been vessels to receive all of this time and you know it's kind of like uh, 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 well the way you grow is by taking what you receive yes. and go out and do it yeah let's face it that's what it is it, to me it's kind of like the Dead Sea in, in Israel I mean the Dead Sea receives 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 but nothing ever goes out you know mm -hmm. and so how can we grow how can we uh, exercise the word in our life if we're not uh, and, and it's not works it's just being hey being Christ to the world that we live in you That's know right. to the people that are around us. I remember us. many years ago Charlie you preached a message about being a sponge <laughs> being and a sponge. I, I always visualize this big sponge and you're so full of the word, but not you've never squeezed that word out. That's what you were talking about. Should we about. Praise, pray for something to squeeze out? Something, well, sometimes <laughs> and, and things those, squeeze it out. Yeah, circumstances. When circumstances yeah. come against yes, you, absolutely. or when uh, illness hits you, or yeah. whatever, that's when you find out if you really have the word yeah. in you to, to believe and to go forward to do what God's called you to do. How, how do you learn scriptures to be able to help other people? Uh, you know, uh, I used to take a card and write the scripture down, put it in my pocket, and during the day, I would take it out and read it. This is how, as we were talking yesterday, you meditate on that word. You get that word inside of you. And you may not know where every chapter and book, chapter, and verse is, but you know no, where it but is. But the word will come out yeah. of you. Yes, absolutely. That's why it's so important to be in a spirit-filled word church. Yes, amen. To hear the word. To receive the word over yep. and over. Because when it does come out, you know, many times, I, I mean, here I'm a pastor's wife. I've been in the ministry many years. 
But many times I may not be able to tell you exactly where I found that scripture, but I've heard it so many times. Yeah. It's down yeah. in my spirit. Yeah. I can speak it out, and that's what God will do for you. When that's where our confidence comes in God's word, you know. I, I We just want to encourage you to... Uh, to be more than a sponge. I guess that really, we should entitle this, Be More Than a Sponge. Yeah, we have to do another one. Yeah, be more than a yeah, sponge. Be more. But we want you to grow up in Christ. There's so many blessings uh, to be able to share the gospel Amen. with people. Well, we love you, um, and we want you to have a great day today. Uh, can, can I just pray with you for just a moment? Father, you know each one that's listening to this program today. Uh, thank you, Lord God. You, you understand the circumstances, the things that are in their life. There is word that's in them, Father. And I thank you, Lord, that as they open their mouths, it will be the word of God that will come out and minister, Father God, not only to themselves, but to those that are around them that hear that word. In Jesus' name, amen.